Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. I hope you're all enjoying this fabulous fairy festival that Lavinia has put on for you all. And I hope it's given you all inspiration with this new beautiful stamp collection. And I hope that you all have a go with the giveaways and that some of you are able to go to the open day to meet some of the design team and Tracy herself. For today's video, I would like to share my card, Keep Smiling, using the beautiful May, who is sat on the lily. So for the background, we're going to do the smooshing technique. So I'm going to use elements Sahara, Mermaid and Merlot for this. And then I'm going to use one of the new mica sprays, Pink Ella, which is a lovely pink with like a silver mica in it. For stamping with, I'm going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne and Warm Breeze just to do a little bit of blending just around the bottom here for the ground. I'm going to use Brain Zeal watercolour pencils just to give our flowers a bit of colour. Posca pens, I'm going to use a white, a yellow and a pink just to do some little dots around the bottom. A Stardust glitter pen just to add some sparkle to her wings. And if I just lift this up, you'll be able to see that lovely mica just framing our card. So for the stamps, I'm going to be using this beautiful May, the small lily flourish, keep smiling, and I'm going to use the leaf spray. There's two stamps in this collection, but I'm just using the big one. So, let's get started. The piece of card that I'm using for today is five inches by seven and a half inches. And I'm gonna start off by using Elements Sahara. So I'm just gonna put that down onto my blending mat. Giving this a spritz of some water, so I'm gonna give that quite a bit of water. And then we're just going to use the card just to pick up this lovely yellow. So I'm just going to go around picking this all up and just turning my card around. There, I think that's it. And then we're going to dry it before we add any more ink to it. Then we can go back to our mat and just pick up the rest of the ink. So I'm just rotating my card around each time I pick some more of that yellow ink up. And then we're going to give this another dry. So we need to dry this each time we add ink to it, otherwise there's a chance it could turn into mud and we don't want that. The next colour I'm going to use is this beautiful mermaid colour. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it down. And then I'm going to give this a good spritzing with some water. And as you can see, I've given it a lot of water. So now we're just going to go around the edge of our card, just picking this lovely colour up. So we're just going to go around the very edge. And we'll just pop that to a side and then we're going to give this 
another dry. So each time we've been picking up that ink, we've been creating these lovely layers. And I really love that effect to our card. For my final colour, this is Merlot. So we're just going to pop that down onto our blending mat. Give this another spritzing with some water. So I'm just going to give that plenty. So I'm just going to spritz some onto my blending mat and I'm going to use now my fan brush. Just tap off the excess and we're just going to gently just tap that over our background. There. So we just want to take off the excess and just get some of these fine little spots and then we're just going to dry this so if I bring this up this effect was done by just flicking our brush on and then we've got some of these beautiful little bits around but if I just move this around 
You see? Can you see the corners? Just by where we flicked it on. And that's just creating a beautiful effect to our card. And using the mica just frames our card ready to do all of our inking and stamping with. So I've just popped my card onto my stamping platform. And I've got the beautiful May here. So I'm just going to position her there and then I'm going to pop my moon mask behind her and take the stamp away and then for blending with I'm going to use Elements Mermaid so I'm just going to pick up some of that ink and then just dab it onto my mat just so that we get a nice gentle blend and then I'm just going to flick this out just around the top here and then just gently blend it all in so we're just getting that all going there. and then when I move our mask away we're left with our lovely moon So you can see where the water has interacted with our ink, just bleaching that colour out. So I've just popped May onto my card, picking it up, and then to start with, I'm going to use Versa Fine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to give this an inking up. And then stamp her. And there we have our beautiful May. So now we just need to ground her. So I'm just going to pop my hill mask into place. And I'm having it at a slight angle. And for blending with, I'm going to use Visifying Claire Warm Breeze. So with my stencil brush, I'm picking up that ink. And now we're just going to gently just blend just creating our ground for her so we're just going to get that all going there. and i think we can use another hill mask just to create some gentle hills in the distance so I'm just using the same brush and just gently blending that there. So I'm going to go back to using May and I'm only going to use these bottom two flowers. So I'm just going to pop that into place. And then I'm going to put some copier paper just to mask out the areas I don't want. To be stamped so we can just do that bit there and then I need another piece just to hide the rest of her wings and then I'm going to stamp her so I'm just going to keep my magnet into place and again I'm just going to use not turn to stamp with. And 
And I think we might just have one more, just about. Yeah. So I think we'll put that one there. So again, just using that copy of paper just to mask out the areas that we don't want. So I'm going to put a piece there and another piece here. Use my magnet to keep that in place and then stamp this up. And still using this fine clay not ten, and I'm now going to use this little lily flourish. So I'm just going to ink that up, and then we can start to build up our scene. So I think we can just have one there. So press that down. And then we can ink this up again. And then have another one just about here. And then I'm going to use this beautiful leaf spray. And to start with, I'm going to use VersaFine Claire Warm Breeze. So I'm just going to use the top of my finger just to stamp with. And now we can just stamp this just random over our card. And now we need to colour in the flowers. So I'm going to use these beautiful Brionzeal watercolour pencils. So I'm going to start off by just colouring these in pink first. So we're just going to quickly colour all of these in. And then I'm going to go and use this purple watercoloured pencil. So I'm just going to use my brush with some water and we're just going to gently add a bit of colour to the bottom of these lilies. There. And then we're just going to blend that all in. Yeah. And then I'm going to go back to using my blending mat where we spritzed some of that lovely mica spray on. 
So with my brush and a bit of water, I can pick this up and we can just start to add a bit of highlighting to the tops of some of these flowers. And then you can just use some water and your brush just to gently soften all of this mica in. So if you've gone a bit heavy in areas, this is just perfect just to soften it or just pulling it into your flower. So I'm just quickly just touching up some of these. So I'm just going to use a Stardust glitter pen just to quickly colour in her wings. So I'm just quickly adding a bit of sparkle to them. Yeah. And then we're just going to use our white Uniball pen just to create a bit of highlighting on May. So I'm just going to do her hands, a bit more work on her arm and her face, a bit on her head, and then her legs. And then we're going to use a white Posca pen just to do some little dots at the bottom here. I think we're just going to use a pink, a light pink Posca pen just to do some more little dots just around by the flowers and then a yellow Posca pen just to do some yellow dots just around our card And then I'm going to go back to these Bronzeal watercolour pencils and I'm just going to get the dark green out just so that we can create a bit of shadow just around our flower here that she sat on. And then we can just gently just add a bit more green to these hills in the distance so, so that they stand out a little bit more. So we're just going to do a little bit of heat embossing. So I'm just going to use my anti-static mat just over where I want it to emboss. So now we're going to use the word keep smiling. So I'm just going to pop that into the 
bottom right corner and then I'm going to use my Versa mark just to stamp it up so if I just get this going give it a good inking and then stamp it so we're using Versa mark to stamp with before we heat emboss And then I'm going to use Wow Bright White just to do the heat embossing with. Our heat gun just to heat set it. So I've just popped my circle mask back over and I'm going to use Merlot. So with my brush, I'm just going to pick some of this ink up, just take the excess off onto my mat and we're just going to flick some of that going around and down at the bottom here. There. Just so that our moon stands out a little bit more and then I'm going to use my white Oscar pen just to do some white dots just over where we did the yellow ones so I'm just going to go around over those and some down at the bottom here And there we have the finished card all glued up onto a card blank. So if I lift this up, you can see all of that lovely mica just framing our card just around the edge. Thank you for joining me today. Please take care and I hope you enjoy the rest of the fairy festival. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.